this Royal Lodge William Hill Stakes. And that's it, they're running. Twist and turn over on the far side with Grand Master in second. Then Promier Crew on the inside with Mac the Knife and Made of Gold on the outer. Tori Canyon and Nana Buck, the last two. And Mac the Knife just going on now. Mac the Knife from on the near side. Promier Crew coming up to challenge him. Then that big horse, Grand Master. A little wide of those to the right of the picture as we see them now is Twist and Turn. So on the left, it's Promier Crew between horses is Mac the Knife, then Grand Master, twist and turn towards the outer, and they're giving the rails a wide berth on that straight, but uh, moving in towards the fence a little bit as they race towards the home turn. And uh, Willie Carson looks over his right shoulder, sees if it's safe to move over to the rail on Mac the Knife as he does, and it's Mac the Knife and Grand Master disputing it, these two from on the outside, that's the right of the picture, Twist and Turn, the favorite. Mac the Knife, Grand Master, and Twist and Turn, these three. Torrey Canyon's making a bit of progress towards the right of the picture, and Made of Gold is not out of it either. And it's a wide open race now as they race down towards the furlong pole. Mac the Knife on the far side, but being challenged by Made of Gold, and Made of Gold is going on now. And it's made of gold, who's stretching clear as they race up towards the line. Torrey Canyon's keeping on well, and Mac the Knife is trying to renew his challenge, but made of gold has, is holding him as they come to the line. Made of gold is going to win it as they come to the line. Made of gold is the winner, and Mac the Knife is second. It's very close for third, with twist and turn, just getting up to head Torrey Canyon, probably. Then the fading Grandmaster and Stefano and Nana Buck, and last, in fact, was Cromier Crew. And so the result of the Royal Lodge William Hill Stakes is first number four made of gold owned by the Ekiri Fustok trained by Mohammed Mubarak and written by Tony Cruz this horse of course having paid a terrific compliment to the Prix de Salamand winner Arazi uh, by whom he was beaten five lengths second was number three Mac the Knife owned by Sir John Astor, trained by Major Dick Hearn and written by Willie Carson and officially it's a photo for third place with probably twist and turn just having got up to beat uh, Torrey Canyon. A Razi immediately is quoted 12 to 1 from 16 to 1 by William Hill for the 1992-2000 guineas. Yes, this will be very pleasant viewing for Francois Boutin in France. And Tony Cruz dropped him in today after first the groom dancer and then Mac the Knife made the running. Always in the van was Grandmaster, who once again proved to be a little bit one-paced when the chips were down. Torrey Canyon came with a chance on the outsider and a strong drive from Pat Edry. But Tony Cruz has taken the lead just short of the furlong marker and run on really well. As you say, he's changed his style of running. He tried to make all of the running at Long Shore and today he's held him up and done the job beautifully Tony making a name for himself now won the Irish St. Ledger earlier this season and a double yesterday at Haydock he rode this colt beautifully and as you see on this rain softened ground he loved it Julian he really lengthened all the way to the line and look at how the first four have drawn clear of Grandmaster and Mac the Knife battles on really well under a strong drive from Willie Carson in the closing stages another hundred yards it might have been quite close but made of gold has kept going the son of Green Forest handled the ground very well and look at the favourite coming back at the death and probably just runs the Torrey Canyon out of third place. 